Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 17th of September. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. And Gary, spring is well underway as we launch ourselves right through the September, October, November, first three weeks of December campaign. It's all happening. Spring has sprung well and truly. It's all happening. The newspapers, the media, everyone's hyping up property, saying that it's a boom, Philip. What do you think about that? Uh, I'm not ready to call, use the boom word, no, Gary. I think really boom are. is a kind of word that goes back to yeah. 2010 nine and eight but uh, this is a good solid market really of, good solid market. some of the results are boom like let's review what happened on the weekend Phil because it was all happening with nine auctions and we've sold eight out of nine giving us a clearance yeah. rate Gary of 89% against the industry standard of 74% so we've smashed the industry average again as those towers come up uh, brings a tear to my eye looking at that uh, success rate that we're running with Gary. It's a beautiful thing, the tears of joy, Phil. Let's talk about some of the results because there were some boomers, some beauties out there. And on Sunday morning... Now, Phil, before we talk about Sunday, Gary, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about Thursday because we had an auction on Thursday for villa units in North Road, Clayton. Would you nice story to that, Gary, because mm. these are four v villa units that yes. were bought by the vendors. Yes. 40 years ago. More so than 40 years ago. More than 40 years ago. Yep. Uh, and I love talking about uh, how it's uh, a great thing to invest in real estate. Here's yes. a lovely real estate story. Now, there's an old saying that real estate doubles in Melbourne every 10 oh, years. You've talked about this. You've yeah. thought this through, yeah. haven't you? No, I have. Um, and uh, that, that's actually an interesting statement about the doubling every 10 years, because yeah. more often than not, it's actually correct. Mm. Anyway, 40 years ago, the vendors of this property bought the four villa units in North Road, Clayton. And I've got to tell you, I don't reckon they spent a cent on maintenance during the entire oh. 40 years. That's an indictment of the Anyway, they bought it for $36,000 uh, yeah. 40 years ago. So theoretically, if we do that doubling every yeah. every four... 36 every, goes to 72. 72. That's, the that's the first 10 years. Yeah. The second 10 years, 144. 288. Thir 288, the third. Yeah. And five hundred and uh, seventy six thousand dollars. Five seventy six thousand. That's what it should have sold for, yeah. Gary. But lo and behold, it sold for one million one hundred and ninety five thousand dollars. Double again. It doubled so, ten years earlier than it should have. So for those people that are thinking about investing in real estate, there's just a lovely story. Buy yeah. real estate, sit on it. Uh, and let time build your wealth creation strategy. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that, you know, North Road Clayton is not necessarily a prestige address, it's going to go up rapidly or quickly. And also, uh, we managed that property since the start of our business, Phil, always was well let yep. and a good yep. return as well. Yep. So, good story. Nice real estate story. Can I move on to the weekend? You may. You Thanks may. so much, Phil. Uh, we started off Sunday with a big boom auction at number 35 Fitzgibbon Crescent in Caulfield North. Phil, unfortunately, the price is undisclosed, but it sold for more than $150,000 breaks, breaks my heart not to yeah. be able to talk about it, but what a great auction because uh, uh, it was a beautiful sunny day it was. and uh, I thought, you know you what, everybody inside. I'm not going to hold the auction outside, yeah. I'm going to hold it inside. Now, was wise? a lot of viewers might, might wonder why we do this and we're one of I the only why real estate agents that do it yeah. and a number of people said, Philip, it's such a beautiful day, yes, why are you holding it inside? Yeah, indeed. Well, Gary, mm. sometimes the best selling feature of the house is not its facade yeah. uh, and we held that auction, I think we jam packed about 150 odd people into yes. this fantastic kitchen meals family room coming up on screen now uh, with this gorgeous pool all facing north that was its perfect selling point so hence I often pull auctions inside where mm. I think that the best selling feature is inside not outside on the street I liked its facade and would have been just as happy outside it was very crowded but it worked the other reason is yeah. truth be known is that I do have very fair skin and standing outside on a hot sunny day yes. all day is not good for now my skin we're getting to the so truth. my dermatologist tells mm. me so and once selfish again, reason once again I use this opportunity it's been selfish. six months since I said to the viewers make sure you're checking your skin for sunspots and skin cancer on a regular basis and with the good weather coming up now's a good time to do it so was it about the beauty of the home and the internal features or was it just a selfish real estate agent I've, I've, got, to to stay out my, I've got to look after my beautiful skin Gary. work it out for yourselves we moved on to Emma Street Philip uh, in Caulfield South now, Samuel bounced the ball there Gary did, Phil that Big was a terrific, there. terrific villa unit and uh, that one, the price is not undisclosed, I'm happy to say. Hallelujah. The reserve on that one was $665,000, Philip, and it sold for seven oh seven. Phil. Big result uh, there. A good result. Well, well done, Lee. Now, we went after that to a property that can only be described in terms of location as magnificent and exquisite because it's situated in Dundas Place in Albert Park. And some people might think, 
What the hell are Gary Perrin Associates doing in Albert Park? Well, well let, let me answer that very clearly. What are we doing there, Gary? Well, we did open our St Kilda office at number yep. 55 Inkerman Street, St Kilda, with yes. a clear strategy to reach down to the Bayside. Yes. Uh, we wanted to head to Port Melbourne on one direction and yes. we wanted to head to Brighton uh, and <laughs> Frankston on the other direction. It. Uh, and it's a strategy clearly working because yeah. that was the most incredible house. It was, again, unfortunately, an undisclosed result, but I can only say that the opening bid was at result reserve and it run, ran in the many, many hundreds of thousands of dollars beyond. So uh, that one just went right through the roof. Uh, in fact, 200 odd people at the auction there, Gary. In fact, arguably, arguably the first bid would have been probably the vendor's happy reserve, if, yeah. not, if, if not anything else. So it just went right through the absolute That had been in the same people. people's hands for many yeah. decades, Six, Gary. 60 or 70 uh, years, and, and I, lovely and I, people. I yeah. think they'd said that they had paid £3,200 right. for that property. Yeah, well, so I've got to tell you, that one more than doubled every 10 years. Well, like it went right up there into the stratosphere in terms of price. I can assure you of that, ladies and gentlemen, that it shocked us and everybody else and we sold that con in conjunction with finding the best agent who found the best agent we'd like to think because we just got the most incredible uh, result well done to Nikki Janover and Jeremy Rosen's on yep. that one great uh, moving on Phil there was an apartment in Orong Road 8333 Orong Road in the heart of East I St. I really Kilda. love that building Gary because yeah. that's on the corner of Hewenden Road in yeah. East St Kilda just near our office um, and I can strongly recommend to any investor and you know, that's putting home buyers to the side for the moment. But any investor, if you can pick up a 1960s apartment yes. in East St Kilda, that is just one, gr they're great real estate for the well portfolio. Well-built property, filled, yep. sold, well undisclosed again, unfortunately, as was the final auction of the day in Scott Street in Caulfield South, which I had the pleasure of doing at number five, Scott. We've got a couple of other houses in that street, so don't be disappointed if you missed that one. Uh, but again, one that went for uh, in excess of 20% over reserve, seven or eight bidders, ran out of counting, uh, went through the roof, great result. Congratulations to the seller and well done to the buyer because it's hard to get land, Phil, and that one they're going to do something magnificent with. So, you know, coming back to your original opening proposition, Gary, is it a boom or is it not a boom? Yep. There are some boom time results, there's no question. There's no doubt. Now, uh, I suppose yeah. just so the viewers understand what is the definition of a boom, I think a definition of a boom really is when all sorts of property, whether it yep. be A grade, B grade or C grade property, yep. when all of those properties are going in excess of the reserve, that's what we call a boom. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's but, your definition but, of a boom. Well, you know, it I might think, be a technical economic, you know, well, there, there might somebody that's got better marks at school. But down at you. the coal face, uh, <laughs> yeah. we're not calling this a boom yet, but certainly some boom time results uh, and uh, some just some great activity as, out there. As cheeky as I enjoy being, I like to. I have to agree with you. You know, I have to agree with you, Phil. Uh, there are some great results, and there's some great properties coming up. None better, perhaps, than the one we're in right now, right here in Maurice Street, Morris Street. Well, the question is: Is it Maurice mm. or is it Morris Street? And I, I was just know, talking to the vendor. I suppose it depends on which part of France that you do come from. But I think uh, going with the and general, if you don't come from France, if you don't come, if you come from, from France, Beirut, or if you come from Ethiopia, what would you call it then? <laughs> well, I don't know, Gary. And I think <laughs> that's just a stupid, stupid thing to say. And coming from France is clever because there's so many French people in this street. Okay, well, I believe there are some French people in the street. Uh, but this is the most fantastic house, Gary, because it it's got all of the bedroom and bathroom accommodation yeah. any size family would want. But the emphasis here is on entertaining. Al fresco living. I walk into this house, and it's a bit like Club Med, really. In fact, if you buy this house, you can cancel all future holidays because yep. between the undercover Al fresco area, the incredible swimming pool, the astro turf back garden area, this house is set up for family entertaining at its finest and uh, the entertaining spaces are amazing the formal lounge dining room this incredible kitchen meals family room it's just a it's just a house built for entertaining and it's a great street too it is. one of my absolute favorite streets in the call area. it maurice or call it morris the but most important thing is to call, call it, it yours. yours yes and coming up on the 6th of october phil sunday afternoon let's talk about this weekend because we've got uh well not probably one of our busiest ones no, but how many still, have we got on i think I we've think got, we've got about eight or nine let's whip on through them phil because we start off in Bo morris Number one at nine, Alinda Avenue, Beau Morris. Now, Lamore's been very upbeat and very excited about that property. It is a beautiful home. Uh, that one comes up at 10.30. You're going to be journeying out there to Beau Morris, which will be a pleasure, just Beautiful. up the road. And uh, we're looking forward to that auction. Uh, we are going to be also doing an auction in Catherine Road in East Bentley. That one comes up at 11 a.m. on Saturday morning. 11 or 11.30? No, 11 a.m. That okay. one. Interesting. Uh, yes, we're doing, Normally do them on the with, half hour. doing it together with another agent, Phil, right. and that's the time that they've chosen, which is fine. Now, at 12.30, PM on Saturday, 
Philip, we are doing an auction for a very well-known celebrity, uh, in fact, actress Michaela Bannis and her uh, delightful partner, uh, soon to be married, Michaela, and this is a fantastic property, Phil. Uh, it's a very unique property because it's, it's rated as an apartment, but it's really a townhouse. It's nestled at the, at the back of this uh, very, very nice block of apartments situated in Alma Road. This one is at 14 at 355 Alma Road. You've got the honours there. Lovely. There's been a lot of interest in that property. Auctioneer to the stars, I am. Auctioneer to the stars. Well, Michaela's a lovely lady, and she, for those who haven't seen it, uh, Upper Middle Bogan, I think it's called. Upper Middle Bogan, uh, which I'm auctioneer to the Upper Middle Bogan. <laughs> you are. You always wanted to be that. Uh, I mean, that, I suppose that's better than being auctioneered to the lower, uh, the lower end bogans. But uh, the upper middle bogans, well, I'm right up there with There's them. nothing bogan about this area or, or property, Phil, and uh, she plays a great role, uh, by the way. Swears a lot too, don't you, Michaela? Yeah, I'm going to swear a lot during the auction, <laughs> You should, Michaela. exactly right. Yeah. You should. And you should maybe look a bit bogan, I reckon. Put your cigarettes in your T-shirt top. Maybe do it in a T-shirt, Phil. Yeah, I might do that. So looking forward to that great property, 1230. In the Connie jacket. Yeah, Connie, the there were Connie, Connie jackets, jackets in the old days. Down Long Road, Phil in Windsor, Jeremy Rosen's doing an auction there at 12.30. Uh, Glenn Bricker looking after that one. And then we're off to Westbury Street, a great address. Apartment 2 at 84 to 88 Westbury Street. That's at 12.30 on Saturday, Phil. And then Armand Street, you're going you know, to be I want there. to go back to Westbury Street, Gary, because oh, I love Westbury Street. Westbury Street is a great address. But yep. it's funny how things change, because when we first got into, yep. when we first got into real estate, yep. Westbury Street was a shocking yep. street. Well, you know, Westbury Street wasn't a great street, and Grosvenor Street wasn't a great street. But now, now uh, you just got to streets. love the way things change, because yep. the Westbury Street now is yep. a sought-after address. I mean, when you think about where it is, Dandenong Road at one end, yeah, and Carlisle Street address, at the yeah. other, uh, the parkland, the cafes, the coffee shops, just brilliant. So when I first started, yeah, it was a tough gig. Well, all I can tell you, if you want to know what I used to get in Westbury Street, give me a call. I can't talk about it on GPTV. You just did. Um, anyway, look, there's hope for us as well, Phil. If, uh, obviously, if age improves addresses, then maybe it improves people you as never well. Know. We've got some hope. Uh, Armand Street, Philip, you're going to be there at 1.30 p.m. Adam is handling that one here, here and Sing Joel. Single story villa. Looking yep. forward to Great. it. And then we're finishing off at 1.30. At the same time that you're in Armand Street, you will be auctioning the stereo with Leo, who is in Munya Road in Carnegie. That's Saturday, Phil, on Sunday. We've only got two auctions on. One's in Takapuna Road in Corfield South. That's a beauty. Been very popular. Glenn yep. Bricker and Jeremy Rosens uh, is going to be auctioning it. Glenn and Daniel handling it. And we are going to be at 2.30 p.m. Philip, your auction in Brig Street. A great address, wonderful location. Yep. Had a couple uh, of your successes there, I think, a, a weekend yeah, or two. We've had some beauty. Sold a couple of places there, yep. uh, 2 at 39 Brig Street in Caulfield. Like, that is all she wrote in terms of auctions this weekend, Phil. So Gary, another big week in real estate. Can I just remind viewers that the year is running out. If you're thinking about selling this year, you really need to jump on the bus. Quickly. Because yep. we're already filling our auctions well into November. Yep. Uh, this year though, uh, I think we'll have, we've got two really good weekends to the start of December. Yes. But we will be auctioning the third weekend in December. Not that you'd necessarily choose that weekend. And but Twilight Auctions, Philip. Yep. That's the other yep. concept for those who are Perhaps interested. Perhaps we'll talk about that in the next couple of weeks about our Twilight, Twilight Auctions. Twilight Auctions, a nice concept but the market is healthy and strong. The results are good. The offerings are pretty good as well. Yep. It's all happening. I won't be with you next week, Philip, unfortunately. Are you GPTV? going to a conference, Gary, I where am. you are one of the keynote speakers I am. I'm up in talk. Surface Paradise? I can't so believe anyone would pay to hear me speak. You know what? It's I think when you're back from yeah. that, not next week, but the week after, I want to yeah. hear all about that and we'll tell the viewers no how problems. you're You're on the speaking circuit, Gary. Oh, People yeah. are interested professionally in listening to what you've got to say because... God knows I'm not. <laughs> Anthony okay. Robbins, look out. Here I come. <laughs> Thanks again for watching GPTV. I'm Philip Kingston. I'm Gary Pearce. In two weeks, he'll be back next week. Have a great week. Bye now.